Assalamu alaikum dear friends First time in 2020 I am here to share telling the most important multiple choice questions of non parametric test which nobody tells you about that I will explain this MCQs with solutions so must watch this lecture completely till end if you want to gain more concepts and after watching that lecture you can also watch all other chapters MCQs videos which are available in description so let's start the lecture here is the first MCQs which is very very important known parametric test referred to as must remember you already know that distribution free test must remember distribution free test non parametric always referred as distribution free test next second point we always use dash when the mean more accurately the center of distribution of your data and sample size is large enough so must remember that for that we always use parametric must remember this when we use we always use parametric when we have mean more accurately next third point if the median more accurately represents the center of distribution of your data we use always non parametric even if you have a large sample size so must remember that for mean we always use parametric for uh, for median we always use non parametric very very important point is secret I am telling you that next fourth point. Chi square test is the non parametric statistics. Next, t test, you can say that t distribution or z test are a type of, must remember that, are a type of parametric. This both t test, z test, you can say that these are parametric. Next, the non parametric test may be applied to dash data or data can be ranked but not measured by exactly so must remember that dash can be applied to qualitative so just remember non parameter test may be applied to qualitative data next non parameter tests are generally very simple dash always less efficient always less than less efficient next non parameter test required our dash sample size then do the Corresponding parameter test must remember that sample must be larger. For non parametric test, must remember sample size must be larger, not smaller. Next, sign test. What is that? sign test? Is used to test the null hypothesis. You can say that this test for H0. Next, in sign test, chi square stretch 6 is given by very simple. That formula use chi square is equal to bracket n1 minus n2 completing square divided by n1 plus n2 with degree of freedom 1. That's always have a degree of freedom 1. You can say that degree of freedom we already know that v is equal to n minus 1. That's the degrees of freedom generally. Next, rank correlation. Rank uh, ANOVA. ANOVA is always parametric. And but rank correlation is always non parametric so i hope that you have clear concepts in that thanks for watching the video if you like this video then kindly must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell like button for getting notification of my new lecture and also uh, also share that lecture which are very very beneficial for any for any exam for any pps exam thanks goodbye